Hey you guys, how are you? Um, it's Tina. Yeah, right, you know who it is. You're watching my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm here in my, my truck. I don't think I told you guys that my um, I bought a brand new Chevy Equinox a year or so ago and it needed to have some work done, a couple warranty things, and so um, they were going to give me a... Um, 2014 Chevy Camaro well with all the blizzards and we live a mile of a dirt road I'm like uh no I need something else and so when Steve went down to drop off my car I was at work they gave him a uh, uh me a brand new 2014 Chevy uh, crew cab I mean it's a big pickup that's my stuff from school um it's silver let me just show you it's like so nice it's real. It's all digital. Like when you turn it on, like like. I know you guys probably don't care, but I I've been playing with it. It's just all like tells you ice, <laughs> ice drive with care <laughs> because it is thirty two degrees. <laughs> it's cold here. Anyway, so anyway, this truck is like fifty five thousand dollars. So I'm like, Steve. Steve calls me. He's like, um, are you dating one of the dealers down here? <laughs> Like, what? He's all, yeah, he's all, they gave me this brand new Chevy uh, truck for you. And he said, just make sure that, you know, that this will be all right for Tina. And oh my God. definitely, that was definitely, that is awesome, actually. Um, so anyway, they had a problem with something they were doing. And so my car has been there. I've had this pickup for three weeks, two or three weeks <laughs> Um, is my car going to be done anytime soon? Because we still haven't even de dealt with the hail damage and the cracked window. So I'm driving around this brand new pickup, which is sucking up all my gas because it only gets like 14 miles to the gallon. So anyway, two minutes on that. Sorry. Um, I am just making a quick update. Oh, I said quick, didn't I? Um, just to say hello. And I, um, I did get an inbox message, uh, two days ago. A Monday just wanting to know how I'm doing and hadn't you know seen a video from me and how I'm doing on the challenge and so um, I have been very sick and I ended up going into the doctor and I have a horrible sinus infection she said and an um, ear infection in this ear and it hurts so bad I don't remember having a bad ear infection like this um, so I was you know a lot a kid a lot younger and um so anyway, at first she had mentioned mono, and I'm like, because oh. I am so stinking tired. Um, I have not worked out. It's the seventh day, seventh day that I have not been able to work out. Uh, the last time I worked out was last Wednesday, and I just I'm supposed to go at four, and it's one twenty now, and I just I don't I don't know. Um, the doctor's like, I can't believe that you're teaching, <laughs> and I'm like, I I'm the owner. I am the I am. I am the principal and I have to be there. So you need to delegate a little better and get some people in there. So I have, I have, you know, an employee, but you know, when you own a business or for me owning a business, it's like, I, I don't know. I just, I need to be there. And, uh, so anyway, I got a steroid shot and, um, uh, I got antibiotics and then today I just, um, I got done teaching at noon and then I went over, called the clinic and I said, I have no energy. I'm taking my vitamins. I mean, I'm drinking coffee usually, which, you know, my morning coffee will give me a little jolt on none of it. And so, um, they said, you know what, let's give you a B12 shot. So I went over there, got another shot. So I'm hoping that I can start shaking this because I don't feel good. But anyway, the challenge, um, the challenge is over tomorrow and you guys, I rocked it out the park. I did amazing. Um, I, you know, I still have, you know, today and tomorrow till midnight, but I, I've talked to my trainer, Kelly, and I, um, I told her I'm doing fantastic. No cheats. Uh, you know, there are probably a couple people, like, she doesn't know for sure yet until she gets all the paperwork turned in, but, um, yeah, so anyway, whether I share the pot with, you know, two or three people or ten people, I know for myself that I put in the work, I put in the, the effort, 
and I am super proud of that. You know, the, the, one of the main things that I wanted to share with you guys that I have learned doing this whole food detox is, is meal prep is key. You know, I meal prepped before, but not to the degree that I have now. And I'm telling you, it is, it is, it is, it's literally it's changed my life. I, I am now, it's like something I will do. I will do as long as I'm able to every weekend. It is so easy. Like right now, I know I have grilled chicken in my house. I have stuff that I have prepared for the week. So now I'm, I'm getting home at 1.30 in the afternoon. I've been gone since 7 this morning. So now I know I can go in and grab, you know, I've got my protein shakes. You know, I've got everything accessible. I've cleaned off my shelf. And I, I know where all my stuff is. And I'm pretty organized anyway. But I just have revamped everything and my pantry. And so I have my own... Um, you know, spot in the pantry and my own shelf and my own drawer in the fridge. And I, so I know it's just stocked with the things for me. And so, and if my family wants some, then that's great too. They can have some, but at least I know now I can go in and I can have a salad and I'm good to go. I've made my balsamic vinaigrette dressing, which is fantastic. And I had that all prepared. And so it's really changed my life. So you guys prep your food. Whether you're, I mean, I, you know, I, whatever plan you're on, whether you've had weight loss surgery or not, or you're on Weight Watchers, or you're on, uh, I don't know, just a uh, low carb, high protein, or whatever it is that you're doing, prep your food. <laughs> it is key. You know, I, I would kind of fly by the seat of my pants some days where I'm tired, I don't want to go to the store, oh, what am I going to eat? I got to get protein in, I, you know when I was intermittent fasting, you know, so I come off my fast, I got to have a, you know, certain, I have a certain amount of time to eat. And then I, you know, maybe eat too much at one time and be so stuffed. And I, anyway, I've, I've planning and meal prep. Do it, you guys. Seriously, it's changed my life. So anyway, I've done amazing and I don't know what my weight will be. Like I said, I've got a steroid shot on Monday. Um, the last time I weighed in, I was 208. I'm praying for something lower, but really, I don't know. Um, with this this si really bad sinus infection, ear infection, and the meds that I'm on, for me, I, I retain fluid, and I'm trying to drink. I'm, I'm not trying. I am drinking a ton of water, but I just, I don't know. So anyway, that's still, what is that? I started, I weighed in at 213.6. Or 213.4. 213 and then now I'm 208. So, you know, what is that? Five pounds in a month? I mean, I wanted it to be more, but I guess, you know, you know, it's so good. I'll still take it and that's exciting. So anyway, I'm wearing my bat. I'm wearing this actually um, Steve's Batman shirt because <laughs> today I run a preschool, you guys, and today was our harvest party, and all my kids, they came dressed up, and it was so much fun, and Emmy, my employee, she was Supergirl, and she wore her Superman shirt, and I was Batwoman, but the boys told me that I, this is not Batwoman, this is Batman, and why am I not wearing a Hulk shirt? Because my arms are so big that my arms are like the Hulk, or like their daddies. Thank you so much. I don't know if that is that a compliment, you guys. Is that a compliment? I mean, I want big. You know, I want. I know the look that I'm going for in my arms, and I've been working really hard. But it's like these kids will be like when I'm working, or they'll come up to me. They're like, oh, you know, your arms are big and hard. Yeah. Okay, you're like the Hulk. So we had a great day today, and the weather here is crap. It is cold and spitting snow and rain and no sun since Sunday. And I'm going to go in and have my chicken salad. Have an amazing rest of your week. Don't know when I'll be back, but uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back sometime. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.